What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video right here on the Knights of Horror. I'm your host, Anthony, and with me today is Sammy. Sammy, we got a ghost, two ghosts dancing behind us, by the way, so. We have two ghosts dancing behind us? Yeah, it looks like a scene from the Haunted Mansion. Where? On screen, on the, on the screen I'm looking at. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. We're dancing. Yeah. You know what else has got me dancing? What else got you dancing? That Horror Nights Hollywood has finally decided to put out their tickets for 2022. That sounds like a good time, Sammy. You know what that means for us here at the Nights of Horror, don't you? That means that we got to do a little breakdown of those tickets. You ready for this party? I'm ready for this party, man. I'm ready. All right. Let's uh, let's start out here. Number one on the list is that general admission ticket. Um, this is that ticket that's going to get you, you know, basically just into there. You get to go through the mazes. Um, and it, you can get through all the mazes on a general admission ticket. Um, but uh, you really got to do some very strategic game planning. Um, and uh, if you hit that bell notification, I can promise you one thing. As we get closer to the event, you will get some strategic planning from this channel here. Yes, uh, you but will. that's your... And that's your general admission ticket. Like I said, gets you into the front gate. Um, that ticket's going to range anywhere between $72 to $102, um, depending on when you go. Earlier in the season, it's a lot cheaper. Um, in nights like Thursdays and Sundays uh, versus, uh, you know, a Friday or Saturday, um, especially as you get later in the season, that's going to be a little bit more expensive. Yeah, yay. Then we got past members get special pricing as well. Um, I'll be looking in to see how much that is when I'm editing the video, so you'll see it on the screen. But, um, yeah, we get special uh, pricing discounted if you're, if you're a past member. So take advantage if you're an annual past member for Halloween, or not Halloween, I'm sorry, Universal Studios, Hollywood, or Orlando, you should get some price member special pricing because um, they always do that. And that, that goes for General Mission, Universal Express, and after. Also, Universal Express does get a little discount, so that's good to know. Uh, after yeah. 2 p.m. day night combo tickets as well. All pricing subject to change restrictions apply. Again, if you're going to do any ticket buying, we suggest going in the very beginning of the season or Thursdays or Sundays. As you get later on in the season, it's going to get crowded. If you feel like you can't do all that, or if you want to, better yet, let me set this up better. If you want to go to the park during the day and want to see Horror Nights at night, what is the best ticket for you, Sammy? Yeah, that's going to be that 2 p.m. day-night ticket is going to be that best best option for you. Um, and with that day-night ticket, um, you get in at 2 p.m., so you're guaranteed that opportunity to go see the park during the daytime. You can go ride things like the studio tour during the day, which is something that both Tony and I really enjoy in the park. Um, go check out um, uh, the Harry Potter land and, um, you know, really just, you know, enjoy that, especially if you want to go to maybe a show or an attraction that's not going to be offered. Um, at nighttime, that's a really good opportunity. And it's going to give you that opportunity as well um, to focus your energy once the mazes do start opening up to focus your energy there and not have to worry about, man, I want to go ride um, Hogsmeade or, or I don't know what the names of the Harry Potter rides are. Forbidden um, Journey and I forget forbidden, there's, a there's a roller coaster too. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to, yeah. So that'll give you that opportunity to go do those things during the daytime. And then once, uh, you know, the night starts creeping in, you can go hit those mazes or houses as they're now called. My apologies. Um, and really focus your energy there. Um, and with that 2 p.m. day night, we do have two options. You have that regular um, standard one, which is going to go anywhere between $112 and $154. Um, Halloween Horror Nights, Universal Express. If you know that you're going to not be able to do everything all at once at night, you should definitely consider getting the Express Pass because that gets you one front of the line entry to every attraction that is open during Halloween Horror Nights, including mazes, the Terror Tram, and priority seating to shows. So definitely, definitely, if you guys are only planning on going one night and you want to make sure you do it all, you buy the Universal Express Pass. That is going to be your best bet to get you through everything. Uh, I'm almost certain that I get through everything within three or four hours when I'm there, and we end up leaving early, so that's cool. The Universal Express is the – that's the option we recommend the most because um, it's the, the day operations are going to be there throughout the rest of the year. 
Uh, and so, like, unless you're, like, really, you know, coming from out of state or something of that sort and you want to do it all in one, then maybe do that 2 p.m. option. But um, that Universal Express, if you're coming, you're on a mission, you want to get in and out as quick as possible, that's a, that's a ticket for you. Yes, and then if you want to go through the mazes multiple times uh, and the attractions multiple times the night you're going, then you're going to have to fork out a little bit of extra money, but I think it's worth it if you get to go through all unlimited all night to every maze attraction show that is around there, and that is Universal's Express Unlimited. Uh, again, it's going to cost you a little bit more than usual, starting at the base price range of $219 all the way up to $329. And then the Express goes from $179 starting to $289. Um, so yeah, definitely, uh, if you know, you want to go through things multiple times, if you know, there's going to be a property that's going to be at the event that you want to see multiple times, that's probably your best bet, especially if you're only going one time. So there's that Sammy, you did talk about a little bit day night combo express version of that. Uh, go ahead and elaborate a little bit on that. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. So the day night, uh, 2 PM, um, universal express, it's going to do the same thing for you. Um, Oh, no, no, no. That's going to be one-time admission. I'm sorry. It's one-time express only. It's not an unlimited express. We do want to make sure we emphasize that. So it's only going to get you through everything one more one-time express. Um, obviously, if there's something you really enjoy, um, you can go wait in that standby line, which is fine. I mean, um, depending on the night you go, maybe if you're going on a Thursday or Sunday, you know, you want to guarantee you see everything, hit that express, and then you can go back and set those uh, favorite houses one more time um, in standby. Um but another really cool ticket option here, uh, Tony, do you want to tell us about that RIP tour? Yeah, Halloween Horror Nights RIP tour ranging anywhere from $319 to 449 I keep telling myself one year I'm going to do this, and I still haven't even done the VIP tour for Universal Studios, so one, one, one step at a time. But VIP tour is probably going to be the ultimate Halloween Horror Nights experience you're ever going to get in Hollywood, which includes an exclusive guided VIP tour of not only each attraction you get front of the line, they're gonna personally walk you to the front of the line to each attraction and uh, house that is at the event, walk you through all the scare zones, priority seating at the, at the, um, the shows, front of the line for the tram, um, all that great stuff, on top of getting to walk a little bit of the back lot at night and to visit a lot of the iconic horror locations that Universal Studios is known for, for the Universal Monsters and whatnot. Uh, you get to, it's going to be, it's basically almost like what you would do during the day, except they just make it more Halloween based, which is really cool. Uh, and not to mention an all you can eat buffet, which is awesome. Um, so definitely if you guys really want to get the best Halloween Horror Nights experience experience and you're willing to fork out that little extra money starting at 319 and going all the way up to 449 we highly recommend the RIP tour none of us have done it yet but we're almost we're almost getting there I think we we've already we've already forked out express it's only a matter of time before one year we just go fuck it let's go RIP yeah definitely definitely um that's definitely a goal of both Tony and I is to hit that uh, RIP tour um, just because it's a really great opportunity, you know, you know, you're just getting the 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 top experience you can get. You know what I mean? A guided tour, um, as well as you're getting um, the Express Unlimited as a as an add-on, so you get to go through your tour, um, and then once your tour concludes, you can still go back and take advantage of the Universal Express Unlimited, which yeah. is super cool. So you get that that guided walking tour. Maybe you know, maybe while you're going through it, um, you, you know, maybe they're going to give you some details, some little behind the scenes. Uh, knowledge and then you get to go back and maybe walk, go walk through it again and you know literally see those little easter eggs and things um for those of you that uh, you know do live in the socal area they also do offer what are called their frequent fear passes um and so the standard frequent fear pass is going to run you 199 dollars um and that's going to get you um up to 27 nights um <laughs> that uh you know so you can go um, you know, obviously there's a couple blackout nights um, with that pass, but, you know, definitely it's a general admission ticket. You get to go in. Um, I know that's something that uh, a lot of our friends end up doing um, just because, you know, you get to go back, um, maybe, you know, take your time, go back to your favorite houses, relive those multiple times, um, which is, you know, a super cool opportunity. I've never bought a frequent fear pass, and I think this year I'm actually going to do it just so I can go visit multiple of, the, multiple of these mazes many times to go see 
what this is this is so far looking like it's going to be a 2016 year for me again so frequent fear pass is definitely something i'm looking at getting uh, as well as doing a night of express with uh sammy when he's in town so we're gonna be putting up some serious money this year to horror nights at least at least 400 almost 500 dollars just to horror nights alone <laughs> well at least i will yeah. um and the last one that's probably if you're the biggest diehard fan of Halloween Horror Nights out here in Hollywood and this is the only haunt you go to every year and this is the one that you love so much this is what you wait for year round then this one is for you which is the Halloween Horror Nights un Ultimate Fear Pass at $329 and the Ultimate Fear Pass gets you access to all event nights all event nights um, no blackout dates at all. It is a standard general admission ticket, but you get to attend all event nights that go from Thursday to Sunday, which is literally for the ultimate fan of Halloween Horror Nights who wants to go every single night. And if you live in the area and that's just something that's like your happy place or something, then hell yeah, go every single night. Fork out the $329 and just enjoy yourself, man. Because you're going to see a lot of progression as these, these, uh, the season rolls on, and, and you'll see a lot more progression from the, the talent there and everything. And I guarantee you it, uh, it's a big difference from opening night to closing night, 100% big difference. Energy is way different um, between the runs, so you, you will notice it. Some people give it them all. Some people slow it down a little bit midseason, then pick it back up. I mean, you'll, you'll start seeing it, man. It's going to be cool for all my – my ultimate haunt fans out there. So, ticket options are looking pretty good this year. What do you think? Yeah, no, it's definitely some great options. It's it's definitely going to cost you a pretty penny. Um, <laughs> Horror Nights is really expensive, just full transparency. Yeah. Um, so, definitely, um, you know, if that money is tight, we recommend, like I said, like we've mentioned a few times already, go on a Thursday, go on a Sunday, get that general admission ticket, go earlier in the season, um, and, you know, uh, we'll we'll have a game plan video. We'll be able yeah. to tell you, um, you know, take advantage of the early admission to it. Six o'clock this year. That's when time it's starting. Six p.m. is early entry. Yeah, early entry, real important. Um, and uh, you know, get some friends together and have a good time. Uh, you know, they they do say never go alone. So you know, what I mean, get some friends, have a good time, um, and you know, really just enjoy it and take it all in. Because like Tony said, um, just based upon what we've already have announced and what's going to be speculated for uh, this 2022 season, we're expecting top tier. Um, we're expecting, uh, as Tony would say, a 2016 year. So we're definitely both very excited for this event, and we hope that you are excited as well. Yes, we're going to be having game plans as soon as all mazes and scare zones are announced for Halloween Horror Nights real soon. And again, I'll say it again, Knott's where you at, buddy. We want to, we want some announcements already. We're, 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 we're a little eager over here at the Knights of Horror for an announcement, so... Hopefully soon, man. Hopefully soon, Knots. Yeah, Horn hopefully Horn soon. Horn Nights is taking the game right now. Yeah, really. Hopefully soon. Um, and if you want to, if you want to, you know, continue to watch the channel, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you really liked what you've seen today, hit that like button. Drop a comment down below on what ticket you are going to be buying, um, and hit that bell notification so you can get notified every time we do post a video, um, because we are having some great things coming up. And we're really excited as this, as we inch closer and closer to that haunt season. Sounds good to me, man. I'm looking forward to what we have in store. Midsummer Scream is officially a little under a month away. Yes, and yes. We're little, very much looking forward to that. Yeah, little, just about a month away, um, and we're really excited. Um, um, and if you all, if you want to stay uh, up to date on uh, what we're posting as well, um, you can go ahead and follow us on Instagram at the Knights of Horror. And on Twitter at Knights of War. Um, and you can get all of your updates there as well. With all that being said, I am your host, Anthony. That's my co host right there, my, my, my partner in crime, Mr. Samuel Martinez. We're the Knights of Horror. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.